Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 8th to the 14th of January 2024. So the feeling of this week is to rest up. There's a repeat card keeps coming up in tarot, the Four of Swords. And as we know, next week we've got a couple of very big changes in energy. Can be very positive. So we can see this week as the everything must go, final releasing, resting and recuperating, getting ready for those changes. So we head towards the new moon at 20 degrees Capricorn. So have a look where that is by house and if there's any other planets involved in your chart. First new moon of 2024, climbing the mountain of Capricorn from the winter solstice to the summer solstice. We're tending our focus to something and feeling our light grow on a daily and weekly basis. So a really great time to be setting intentions now that the Mercury retrograde is over. But also leaving a little bit of space there as well as our dynamic itself is about to change. So maybe even what's important to us will change in the coming weeks and months. But certainly a time to hibernate, to reflect, to go deep within, find energetically what's most exciting to us and feel that sense of purpose that can come in at this time of year, what we'd like to aim towards, give our valuable and vital life force energy towards as well. So Mars has recently gone into Capricorn. We have the Sun mid Capricorn. Pluto's about to leave, that's the big story. But Mercury moves into Capricorn by the 14th as well. So the new moon on the 11th, slightly preceding that, but we can see that there's a lot of Capricorn energy around and Mercury will come out of its retrograde shadow on the same day that Pluto and the Sun move into Aquarius. So we're steeped in this Capricorn energy, which is your authenticity the very marrow in your bones, the gold inside the mountain. So it's important to connect with the treasure that you hold within, with what you treasure, and to realise that you are a treasure. As we let go of some of the human paradigms, all the programming, conditioning, limitations and negative beliefs that have been piled on us for centuries, this is why the Four of Swords is important this week, to just really allow those to dissolve completely and focus on the gold within us. So the Sun and Pluto, Mars and now Mercury midweek, all in the sign of Capricorn, getting us ready, at the very core of our being, to be nourished and strong and ready to climb to new heights. Other themes this week, as we're hovering in and out of Capricorn, is the balance of the physical and the spiritual. Worth taking stock to approach every day from a very physical level health, fitness, work, money, achieving. And can you spend a little bit of time considering what your soul came here to do? Because no one came here to work. What your actual purpose is, what your contribution is on a vibrational level. So that would be a very good meditation. And if any adjustments are needed, a very good realignment at this time. Finishing off projects, finishing off old business, wrapping up loose ends. It's another good use of our time and energy. If we don't really want to be distracted or carry anything forwards that we can complete now and free up some of our time and energy to feel the changes as they come in. The whole of 2023 and even before has been about balancing the masculine and feminine, the head and the heart, the doing and the being. So can we make this a week of being and learn to set our compass on the inside and practice being the transmitters and receivers that we truly are? making life less effort, more effortless, sending out and attracting towards, clearing the mind and feeling into the heart space. There will still be some old thoughts, feelings and programs that come up from the subconscious as we are ridding not just our life but our family's inherited life and possible past lives of everything that we've picked up along the way. So give a little space for that. Many people are feeling something and they can't place it That may be because it's not yours, it's not something you've actually lived, but you're still carrying within yourselves. So gentle cleansing is available there. As we're heading towards Aquarius, knowing your sovereignty, knowing your unique soul vibration, starting to understand and unravel the secrets of your chart, who you really came here to be, will be a very important practice going forwards into 2024. Letting go of the personality story, creating enough space to feel your soul self. And then as we come to the end of Mercury Retrograde, there'll no doubt be some lessons, some messages, some revelations and rewards, taking us right back to the 13th of December by midweek, 
can have a recap as to what that's meant for us, what we've learnt and the wisdom that we can carry forwards. So a hibernatory and restful week, still very active as where we put our focus is an activity in itself. We're letting go of one way of being, preparing the ground for a radical new way of being. So maybe take some of those themes and meditations that resonate with you and just tie up some of the loose ends with the new moon, Mercury Direct and Mars, all in Capricorn, helping us to anchor in our inner divine essence. So if you'd like to see where this is happening for you, I am available. We can look at your chart in many ways. The soul plan, a map and a guide, the coaching tool to let go of old beliefs and perspectives. Find out where the best use of your energy is, what your spiritual mission is, and even explore past lives that are showing up in this one. I include tarot and teach astrology and tarot as well in my courses. As I say, this is a wonderful year to connect with the psychic arts as they are the domain of Aquarius and everything is about to become very Aquarian. So do contact me zoehind7 at gmail.com. I'm happy to email and talk in advance to create something that's perfect for you. I post these videos on my YouTube Zoe Astro, Instagram zoehind7 and Facebook Astro Zoe. So wishing you a restful and reflective week. Go deep into your cave. Let whatever comes up come up. Resolve and dissolve. You might start to feel the tinglings of the bright new energy that's coming in. But to fully receive it, we need to let go of all density. So wishing you a wonderful week and I'll see you next week.